Hello, my name is Shane Steinberg. I'm a master's student at Carleton University, Ottawa, Canada. I'm supervised by Professor Yuono and co-supervised by Professor Srirman Rajan. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about a signal decomposition technique for artery wall motion tracking using a flexible and wearable ultrasound sensor. So ultrasound monitoring of arteries is a non-invasive method of cardiovascular monitoring. It can be used to quantify artery viscoelastic properties as well as obtain local blood pressure estimation. You can also use it to uh, assess atherosclerosis. So in order to track uh, the motion of the arteries, um, you can obtain what's called an M-mode uh, image. The M-mode is obtained by su uh, successfully recording the pulse echo signals. These are called the A-mode and shown on the left. You can see uh, there's the proximal and distal wall echoes are clearly visible. So by successfully doing that in a recording sequence, you can track the artery well motion. You can see in the M-mode on the right. So conventional medical imaging probes are not suitable for long-term continuous monitoring. This is due to their weight and bulkiness. They can commonly introduce motion artifacts by inconsistent pressure and application to the monitoring area. So the motivation for a wearable ultrasound sensor is long-term automatic and continuous monitoring of the artery. Um, this can be used for continuous blood pressure estimation, um, detecting changes in blood pressure, as well as it has applications in home health monitoring, such as evaluating artery stiffness, diameter, and again, the changes in blood pressure. So the wearable ultrasound sensor approach that we took in this lab um, can be securely attached to the monitoring area and is lightweight. So this avoids the motion artifacts that are introduced commonly using the medical probes. It's flexible and thin, so it can conform to the monitoring area, and it can be worn for hands-free and continuous monitoring. As well, it's disposable due to its low cost. So here is um, the wearable sensor used in this work. So on the left, we have just a basic schematic. You can see that the main thing is uh, a piezoelectric polymer film is used for the piezoelectric material. This is from PVDF. And then on the right, we uh, have a photo of the sensor. So you can see the ultrasound sensing area uh, is actually quite large compared to many uh, conventional probes. So this introduces challenges for uh, artery wall motion monitoring. So on the left, we have a basic uh, illustration showing the measurement model. You can see that the wearable sensor is actually wider than the artery, so it introduces many adjacent tissue scatterings, which uh, can create difficulties locating the artery wall boundaries, and then it creates difficulties accurately tracking the motion in them. So the objective of this research was to develop a method that can isolate the artery wall echoes from the uh, scattering noise. Um, this was done using a decomposition method that I'll talk about shortly, and then estimate the wall motion of the isolated wall echoes. And the long-term goal is again, long-term continuous monitoring of the artery for quantification of these various artery health parameters, such as stiffness, blood pressure, and diameter changes. So in order to decompose the signal, uh, this ultrasound signal model was proposed. So this signal model basically says that the M-mode signal is some summation of these Gaussian modulated sinusoids. Those are given by expression two. And basically the goal here is that some GI are corresponding to the wall echoes. And we want to be able to isolate and track only those and discard the rest of them. So in order to actually implement that signal model, uh, matching pursuit signal decomposition was used. So this is a common technique in sig signal decomposition. Um, this one requires the maximization of your measured signal with the model estimate. In order to solve this objective problem, uh, constrained particle swarm optimization was used. 
So the experimental configuration is shown on the right. An M mode recording of the right common carotid artery was obtained using the wearable sensor. The wearable sensor has a four megahertz center frequency and one megahertz bandwidth. It was sampled at 125 megahertz and 100, uh, sorry, one kilohertz M mode frame rate. So the signal pre-processing methodology first uh, for pre-processing, the manual segmentation was performed to window the near wall region. Then a bandpass filter was applied uh, to the signals around the wearable sensor spectral parameters. For the decomposition techniques using matching pursuit, 10 echoes in each signal were decomposed. Uh, a swarm size of 50 was used for each optimization. The spectral search space was constrained around 10% of the uh, estimated wearable sensor parameters, and the other parameters were allowed to vary freely. freely. And then for the wall echo isolation, um, after the signal was decomposed, the artery wall echoes were identified and isolated in each frame. Uh, this was done manually. And then for the wall motion estimation, um, this was obtained using complex cross correlation. So from the parametric representation of the wall echoes, you can obtain uh, the analytic carrier wave, and then you can actually obtain a closed expression for this cross correlation using the parameters. Uh, once the motion was estimated, a smoothing filter of 30 samples was applied. And so here are the results. On the left, um, Top, we see the measured wearable se uh, segment, sorry, wearable signal segment. On the bottom, we see the decomposition result. The black is the uh, isolated wall echo. On the right we, top, we see the measured M mode, and the bottom is the isolated wall echo M mode. And using the cross correlation of the isolated wall echoes, this uh, motion estimate was uh, obtained. So this one contains periodic features that are associated with the blood pressure waveform. And so in conclusion, the artery wall motion was estimated using the signal model and uh, matching pursuit optimization framework. Uh, we observed the periodic waveform associated with the blood pressure in the isolated wall echo M mode. And in the future, signal processing for automatic wall echo isolation should be developed as well. The laboratory pulse generator was used for the excitation of the wearable sensor. So for a fully wearable device, uh, low power excitation should be developed. Thanks for your time.